welcome back and if you like what you've seen please like and subscribe and thank you for all the people that are consistently subscribing all right so this is going to be a real quick video on this one we have four circles and you know most of them are the same and you can see that we do have a radius or a fillet that's going on there the good thing about this example is all of the fillets are exactly the same so whenever we use the fillet command we're going to use the multiple option and that's going to speed this up tremendously okay so let's go ahead and get started okay so let's go ahead and take care of our normal housekeeping let's make sure we turn our grid off our dynamic input is turned on and in this one I will use ortho since I'm going to copy those circles in a straight line last thing I'm just going to check is make sure that I do have center turned on midpoints and some of these other normal things but I shouldn't need a lot of these old snaps so all right let's go ahead and start drawing now so I'm going to go ahead and start creating with a circle center diameter I'll click here and that diameter is 20 just going to scroll out just a little bit and then I'm going to create the next circle. So I'm going to go circle, center, diameter. Now I could have used the repeated method that I used in some other videos. But in this one, I'm going to use the O snaps a little bit more. So I'm back in the circle, center radius command. I have to touch the circle. Do not click on it. And then I'll click right on this plus sign here. I always kind of pull my cursor out just to get a preview. And this has a radius of 15. All right. So now I'm ready to do some copying. I noticed that the distance between these are 50 so that's going to help me out a lot when I create this and as far as the base point that I have to select so copy select the two circles enter I'll pick my base point somewhere along here the ortho function so making sure that you have ortho on helps out a lot so all I have to do is aim in this direction and then I type in the number that I need which is 50 I'll go to the escape button and then I'll go back to copy now here's one of those selection options that you can use in some of these other commands. So I know that the two circles that I selected before, I can previously select those and then just select my two new circles. So what I mean by that is while it's asking me to select circles or select objects, I should say, I'm just going to type in P and that stands for previous. It'll select the two circles that I previously selected and then I'll select the two new circles. Enter. I'll pick this base point. I'll aim up and I'll type in 80 enter escape twice all right so now I'm just pulling my screen down so I can see everything the rest of these have a radius or radii of 30 let's go ahead and set up our fillet for that so we're gonna go to fillet radius 30 enter and then I'm gonna select multiple since I have all of these radii the same all right, so now it's ready for me to start selecting. So I'm going to select on the outside of this circle, outside of that circle. Same thing over here, outside and outside. I'm going to kind of select somewhere along the top of this one. And then on the inside kind of of this one. And kind of complete, uh, complete this by doing the exact same thing on the bottom side. So select here and here. Escape out of this. One last thing we have to do is just go to trim. And start getting rid of the stuff we don't want, which is going to be these two inside pieces of that circle. All right. And once I do that, I'll hit the escape button. And this example is already completed. So the key takeaways in this one was to make sure that your ortho was on when you copied. Make sure circle. The center point of those circles was on in my O snaps. And from that point, using the multiple option and fill it. All right. So another one of these quick videos and I, I hope you enjoyed this one and if you found any value out of this please like and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching